We want to go live to the scene right now. Our Cara Finstrom is there near the shooting scene. Cara, what do you have? And we are joined by a couple students here. We're, we're live on the air now. These students were here when this gunfire broke out. They're still a little shaken. I know you said uh, you started crying when you saw the ambulances come up because you were worried about your fellow students. Tell, tell me what you heard, what you saw. Well, I, when I was walking on campus just after noon, I heard a couple of gunshots. I didn't think they were gunshots, and I saw people running from the campus, and I... Uh, I kept on walking towards the library where I was going to finish my paper for my final in English, and I uh, w was near the bookstore when I heard uh, 15 or 20 more shots and stopped. I turned around, I went into the theater arts building, and I used the bathroom there. <laughs> I. Uh, uh, I know it's a I'm extremely time. shaken, and I came. I was leaving campus. I came back because I heard that the president is coming to the school because of this thing, and I wanted to ask. People in America are living in fear because of the war on terror. We're being spied on by our government, and this is the action of terrified people. Not just the students being shot at, but the guy with the gun is scared. Okay, I know. It's a frightening time. I want to bring in another student who's here as well. Uh, you said you heard the gunfire? Yes, I did. I was actually walking from the parking structure, and I heard gunshots, and I, I was going to go to the library to study for my final, and I hear these guns, and I'm like, and then I hear students running, and they're, like, going crazy, and I asked the guy, and he goes over, he's like, oh, they're the guy shooting on campus, and I, I ran to my car as quick as I could. I was just so scared. I didn't know what to do. Like, it was just... We thank you for we thank you for joining us. There are a lot of students behind here, very shaken, very confused by what's taken place here. You can see some of the students behind us here. We're in a group of uh, CHP patrol vehicles at this side of the campus. We've seen helicopters overhead. We've seen also uh, Santa Monica police and other agencies responding here. We've seen ambulances coming and going. All we know at this point and all that we've been able to get confirmed, which we've been reporting on the air, is that there were multiple victims of this and that the suspect is down on campus. Everyone here still trying to get information and the students who were on campus some of whom told us they were told to either shelter in place that they were going to be locked down or that they needed to leave and i'm sorry i'm i'm trying to get some information from our our studio there but we were told that uh, the students here tell us that they were either asked to shelter in place or to leave the campus immediately and uh, that they did that. The ones we're speaking to here, they're trying to call home and let folks know that they are okay. Reporting live here from near the campus, Cara Finstrom, CBS 2 News.